The first place I want to take you is to the Apollo 11 landing site. That's the first place that humans walked on the moon. Here's how you can find it. If you kind of zoom out, you're going to see these large maria. And what I'm going to do is kind of zoom in in this area. You can do this as well. And I'm honing in on this very specific little spot. You'll see there's kind of two large craters in this more zoomed in picture here. You'll see this weird artifact here that is not like an alien landing spot on the moon, even though it looks like that. It's actually like a burned in artifact from the photographs that were initially used on the moon. And you can see other artifacts like these lines. That's from the photos that's not actually on the moon. But I'm going to keep zooming in right here. And I'm actually going to go insanely far into this picture. You'll see a little spot right here. That's where the Apollo 11 landing site is. And as I keep zooming in, you'll see that actually there's a photo here that shows where um, they landed, right? The LM is the lunar module. That's where they actually landed. You can see the path where the astronauts walked, where the flag was left where the TV was placed. This is not the TV that was used when Neil Armstrong walked down the ladder, but this is the TV that was used for when the lunar module launched back up into space. Um, what else? Let's see. I think there's one of these marks is referring to the contingency sample. And that's what I'd like you to read about is the contingency sample and why that was collected. All right, so that's how you can find the Apollo 11 landing site on Google Moon.